Hi friends, Paul here. How to replace a beat up dust cover on your favorite vintage books. This is really beat up and I've taped it down there and stuff, but you know, it just, it's all ripped up and I wanted to replace this. So what I did is I brought it down to FedEx. You know, it used to be Kinko's, now it's FedEx, the print shop. And on I believe it was 18 by 20 paper behind the desk. The friendly people at FedEx scanned the original onto this 18 by 20. This isn't even the glossy paper, but you see how it has kind of a glossy finish on it. I am just chuffed, as the English would say, by how this came out. So let's see how we proceed from there. I trimmed it at, at FedEx, I keep wanting to say Kinko's, on their, um, oh, what do you call those things? You know what I mean, those cutting tables. So I'm lining up the spine very carefully, making sure it's even, and I'm finding that feeling along the edge of the spine, making sure that's straight in context of the spine, and also use the edges of the book cover as well as a guide because we want to make sure those are straight too, then crease it. Flip your book over, making sure that the sides of the book cover are nice and flush, and let's crease that as well. A good idea to do on this section is use the original as a guide. You see how the colored portion is actually within the fold a little bit? The back side of this cover is going right into that yellow section. So that's what I'm gonna do here is make sure that, that crease, and you can even see it how it's scanned. You know, those FedEx scanners are really amazing. I mean, the technology of the scanning, I actually remarked when the woman um, gave it back to me that it actually looks better than the original. I mean, the color saturation. All right, so we're gonna fold that gently. And you know, with opening and closing your book throughout time, um, that's gonna seat in there. And boy, does that feel good. I mean, that really feels like a brand new dust jacket on my book. And man, am I, am I psyched about that. So you guys, thanks for watching. Post your comments below if you're into vintage books and refurbishing them, or if this tip helped you um, put a brand new dust cover on your book and stay tuned to my channel because pretty soon i'm going to be doing a review on the artist henry b kane who illustrated this book really great stuff we'll see you guys next time